I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Cancer, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Three of Wands and it's with the Strength card. Now, what this is telling me for the recent past energy between you and your person is that the connection felt strong. Yeah, with the strength card here. Um, it could have felt like it was mutually supportive and beneficial for the both of you. And, yeah, you two were embracing the connection. And for some of you, this connection or relationship, it made you feel empowered in some kind of a way. There could have been patience and acceptance, and it felt good. So with the Three of Wands showing up here also, that's the card above the word pass. It's, it's indicating that for a lot of you, um, you just you made a decision because the Three of Wands can be about making a decision to go forward. You could have felt like your ship had finally arrived. Yeah. Maybe you felt like you finally met someone that you connected with or you, you finally met your match. But anyways, it felt good, and you felt like you were ready to get on board with this. You were no longer trying to decide. Three of Wands, you make a decision, and you go forward. And the two of you were looking ahead with expansion and growth. So that's pretty good energy for the recent past. But let's move on over and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we have the Death card. And it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this Death card, what I'm getting with this is that for some of you, coming up, you might be coming to a conclusion about your person or the connection. And for some of you, you could be feeling like you're losing interest or... You could be feeling like you're changing. Or for some of you, you might feel like your person is changing in a real big way that maybe they're not who you thought they were. Or they could be feeling this way about you. You're different than who you were when they first met. It could go either way. But I'm kidding that um, someone is losing interest and I, th I think it's you, Cancer. I'm feeling a strong feeling that you're losing interest in the connection. And it could be because of this Nine of Pentacles is here. The Nine of Pentacles, the card below the word present. It's about having the best of everything. You could be the type that, that wants the finer things in life. That wants something really good. Nine of Pentacles can be about financial worries being over for a while. It can be about living your best life. It can be about yeah, it, well, it can, the Nine of Pentacles is just sh short of one Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is the top tops. So you're the type of person, for some of you cancers, that just want it all. Yeah, ten of pentacles is the tops. Nine of pentacles is short of one pinnacle. So you, you just kind of want it all. And you feel like you're not getting it all with this person. Or you feel like you're not getting your nine of pentacles with this person. So you just want more. 
And I'm getting for a lot of you, your persons, they're not giving you more or they're not able to. This could be financially because I'm just looking at all those pinnacles there. Maybe they're not in a position to financially. But yeah, for a lot of you cancers, you just want more. A lot of you just want the best that life has to offer. And you feel like this connection is, is running short of that with this person. Yeah. At one point it felt strong, mutually supportive, and you were ready to get on board with this person. But now coming up, uh, things are changing. Or something has really changed with this death card here. Death card can be about deep transformation and change. And maybe it's you. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the hangman and is with the seven of swords. Now the hangman can be about um, confusion, being stuck in your head. And this is how your person is feeling, starting to feel. Um, they see that you're different now. Your way of thinking is is not what they expected. Because now you just seem to be um, you seem to be different. And it's because you just want you just feel like you need more from this person or the connection. So they're kind of confused. They're stuck in their head with the hangman here. They might start to feel like the connection is on pause. That's what you can get with the hangman. So, they might feel like you've taken a break from them or just things are on pause and they don't know what to do. But the Seven of Swords is here, the card that's below the word challenge. So they might start to stalk you, watch you, keep tabs on you. If you two are together, they might start checking your phone while you're not looking, or your messages, your emails. Try to figure out what's going on. This person, they want to know more because probably not too long ago, you were... The both of you were looking ahead with expansion and growth. And you both got on that ship. And, he, and it felt good. It felt like a supportive connection. But now they see you're different. So, they, they're, they're watching you, Cancer. Trying to figure out what's, what is this? What happened to my, my Cancer? Now, because, um, the Seven of Swords is here. For some of you Cancers, you're dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. And some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. But that's a challenge. Now let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we have this Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, the card that's above the word outcome, is actually... It's a really good, stable, solid, committed type of energy. So, your person, they could be reaching out to you, wanting to let, they could be reaching out to you, letting you know that they, they want something more stable and committed with you. Nine of Pentacles is actually a good energy in the tarot. Yeah, it can, it can be a loyal and faithful type of, type of energy. Very solid. Knight of Pentacles, um, can be a practical type of energy. So your person could be letting you know that they want to do more for you and the connection and make it more fulfilling. Yeah, they see that you could be pulling away. They feel that you're losing interest in this person. They, I'm kidding that they're, they're into you, but you're not as into them as they are into you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Eight of Swords is here for the outcome, the card that's below the word. Outcome, that's the Eight of Swords. Well, even though they could be reaching out to you, trying to tell you things that 
would convince you that you should stay or they could be trying to let you know that they're willing to work on things eight of swords is saying that you're still holding yourself back yeah you see there's a there's this man standing there the eight of swords he's got these swords in front of him kind of like caged himself in there's a hot fire behind him and on top of that there's a huge bull bull right behind him also so I'm sure he can feel the heat but he'd rather just stand there there's something about your person that you just you're not really feeling or like I said they can't offer you what you what you need at this time they're lacking a pinnacle or two or maybe three like I said nine of pinnacles is pretty good but it's missing one pinnacle to have it all so you're just standing there you could easily put one foot in front of the other and run or walk really fast but no cancer you're holding yourself back from this person now when you get the eight, eight of swords sometimes you could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future with this person or for some of you you could be afraid of getting hurt by the situation or you're just holding yourself back for no reason at all so cancer that's the reading that I have for you I hope you enjoy the reading I hope it resonates as you know general readings they do not resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself in best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season hang in there it's gonna pass we'll all get through this so stay strong and take good care I hope you come back and join me for the next cancer reading just in case this did not resonate maybe the next reading will also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched and it's not gender specific yes you could be them or they could be you and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.